Hi everyone, this is Matt from DrawingTutorialsOnline.com. We've got another really cool sketchbook video coming up for you. I just want to give you a, a quick heads up. Rex is an incredible human being. You'll hear a little bit about her story in the video. But in the beginning of the video, she was a little nervous, a little shy, and she spoke really, really low. Uh, she's a very soft-spoken girl, and with the iPhone, I, I really did my best um, to you know, capture the, the audio, but uh, her sketchbook is just unbelievable, uh, very inspiring, and very overwhelming. So let's get right to it. This is Matt from DrawingTutorialsOnline.com. We have another really, really cool sketchbook, and Rex is here to share her sketchbook, and Rex is from Shanghai, China, which is insane that she's all the way here in New York City, and I think you're going to love her sketchbook. Um, I I can't go go ahead go ahead I, I just cannot get over the amount of drawings that Rex does and this is back in September Rex these drawings are in September these first ones in the beginning of school Rex mm -hmm. they're at from these are from the beginning of school yeah Wow so this was a long time ago this was back in September yeah. How many how many hours a day do you draw? Uh, it's it's I'm not sure. Sometimes it's longer. Sometimes it's shorter. It depending on the um on whether I'm happy or not at that day, or whether I want to draw or not. Wow. So this is just some homework drawings. Yeah. And is this regular two B pencil? Uh, this is charcoal pencil. Charcoal pencil? Yeah. Wow. So Rex has uh, a lot of drawings. A lot of drawings. It's, it's pretty crazy. So she's going to get a, a workout turning her sketchbook a lot. Some figure practice. So you're just basically practicing? Yeah. Okay. So I explained to Rex that a lot of her drawings are going to get really smudged, and I was trying to talk her into not working from back-to-back uh, -back on back-to-back -back pages, because all these beautiful drawings are going to get smudged. And that's gonna really, really sink. You don't, you don't have to move this one. Hold, hold that. I'm just gonna move my camera. Uh, yeah, these are just Rex. Just kind of dives into these, and she just goes to town. I mean, it's insane the amount of work that she does. That's a lot of pencil mileage. How long did that page take you? Mm, each one costs. Uh, an hour or half an, half an hour to an hour. Half an hour to an hour. That's a lot of time. Good. So you just go after school when you're at home in your dorm room, you're just kind of like cranking these drawings out, like you, you just practice all the time? Uh, not, uh, not always, yeah. I have some other things to do every day. And what what do you want to do when you graduate from college? Uh, I want to do something related to animation, or I will I want to go to the game computer a game company for the original drawing. A gaming company, I see. Yeah. These are some things this dream. Beautiful. Mm. And the ho these drawings that you're showing me right now with the horses and the buildings, are they from photographs? Uh, some, uh, at first it's from photographs. Okay. Yeah. See how that smudged a lot, but it's still... Uh, I tried this in soft charcoal pencil, but the effect is not very good, I think. Mm. Mm. This is the... Wow. We're gonna get a lot of comments. <laughs> save, save the political comments. We'll we'll save those for another YouTube channel. Go ahead, keep going, keep mm -hmm. going. Wow, that's a lot of pencil work. Oh my god. 
charcoal pencil. That is beautiful. Like I love the form lines. Just working from some bridgements. Yeah, bridgements. Yes, biceps. Mm -hmm. Holy charcoal pencil again. Yeah. You have a really good touch with your hand. You can really control that pencil. So there's a lot of different types of artists that I have in my class this semester. And some of them are light handed and some of them are heavy handed. I would say that Rex is power handed. Like she's just got so much power with the pencil and she can control it. Uh, I don't know how she does it quite frankly, but I would say that Rex just dives into it and draw draws like Almost like a Norman Rockwell would just go on in there and paint, paint the heck out of the, the painting. Rex just draws the heck out of the drawing. This head, um, I draw the mask brightly because I am not doing it very well. Wow, that's gorgeous. Another head. Wow, holy. Good, good. So, uh, how for how many years have you been drawing? Did you take like a lot of drawing classes when you were in high school? No, actually, in senior high school in China, I never, I never do any drawing. Just drawing on the class of some other class on the table. Oh my god! Yeah, I major in physics in senior high school. Oh my god, that is so. You majored in physics and you. You haven't really been doing a lot of drawing in high school. That is insane. I can't believe you're telling me that. Wow. Yeah, it's when I graduated from my senior high school, I made the decision that <clears throat> I want to do animation. So I just do the drawing and uh, came to America. <laughs> Wow, that's a story and a half right there. Holy Moses. These are some figure practice. I do this quite fast. You do this fast? Yeah. Do you guys on YouTube see the amount of drawings? And this is just um, your competition. <laughs> this is crazy. So you just. It, it's a little overwhelming, quite frankly, to see all of the drawings that Rex does, and so you just have to be inspired by it, uh, not be overwhelmed by it, because it's a little overwhelming. And uh, uh, Rex, Rex's nickname in our class, I gave her the nickname of the psychopath, uh, and you understand the reason why, because she works so hard and does just so much in like her sketchbooks like I, I really it's, it's pretty inspiring for me as her teacher to see all this and you know I just got to get my butt away from the computer and actually draw a little bit more so I can keep up with Rex here good stuff and and these are not easy poses these are like really really difficult poses to draw yeah that's why I draw them yeah good for you good for you now these are just from photographs mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Yeah, this I go to the Brooklyn Ranch for the sketch. I, yeah, that's really cool. Very cool. So a little bit of life drawing out there, some landscape stuff, but a lot of people. And your tone, like you, I, like there's, you have no fear with the pencil. You are fearless to put down the tone. I'm shaking a lot here. Hold on. All right, let me get the shake out. Let me get the, my fingers are like, okay, sorry, you guys. Okay, let's keep going. Physical expression, George Regiment. Yeah, I mean, do you guys see how Rex is diving even into expressions? And that's with the charcoal pencil or graphite? Uh, this is the pencil. Pencil, regular yeah. pencil. Yeah. Lots of movement. We got a lot of beefcake in this sketchbook. Oh my god, there's a lot of beefcake. I don't know if um, 
they call it beefcake in Shanghai, but maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really like, Rex, the way that you are incorporating the light and shadow in your drawings. And that, that's also another thing to really acknowledge about Rex's drawings is that she's able to do a page like this where it's just line. And then she's able to do a page where it's the line and the tone. And that is pretty special. Because for a lot of artists, it's either or. You either are doing the line or you can't draw it just with line. You're doing the um, tone thing. So I'm pretty impressed that, that you're doing both. Yeah, I try to draw all this for the clothes, for the detail of clothes. Clothing. Yeah. And okay, this let me is get this. figure. Good. I'll flip that. Okay, now flip it this way. That's it. Beautiful. Oh, you gotta turn that sketchbook. You have to turn it. I have to see that figure there, the right side up. Beautiful job. Good, good, good. Boy, you're really using every square inch of the paper. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you gotta flip that page. That looks like such a good page with the shadow shape. Wow, that's pretty impressive with the line and with the tone. Good, good, good for you. Mm -hmm. These are some seriously complicated poses. Draw the shadow too in detail. Mm -hmm. I just draw it a very animation way, just light and shadow. That's fine for animation. That's fine. I, you seem to understand it pretty well. I draw this. You know, use the charcoal stick for the for the detail. Mm. Stick. Charcoal stick, wow. You have good control with your hands to do charcoal stick in that little small space of your sketchbook. That's and that's not even a big sketchbook, it's it's pretty small actually. Uh, this is a ski a scenes I with my friend and I draw them. It's this is me. So you drew that from life? Yeah. Wow, good. Gorgeous. This is a uh, an animation and I draw it in a very Mucha style. In Mucha? Alphonse yeah, Mucha. Maria Mucha? <laughs> no, you, well, I don't even say it right. It's supposed to be Musha. Musha, yeah, Musha. Oh my god. Love it. Holy Moses, that's a lot of detail. Good for you. I love your sketchbook so much. It's there's so, and there's the end. Mm -hmm. You know what? We're gonna save your other sketchbook. For a second, yeah, we're, we're gonna save that one as a tease and we're gonna wait until that's finished towards the end of the semester. Rex, thank you so much for sharing. I really appreciate it. Do you have a Tumblr or anything like that? I have an Instagram. Okay, so Facebook. we'll post that name right underneath the video. Thank you. Okay. Thanks guys for watching. We'll talk to you soon. All right, I hope that you enjoyed Rex's sketchbook video. The Instagram uh, is right in the description. Her Instagram is right in the description. Go over and, and show her a little love. Um, it's, uh, like I said, it's a real pleasure to have her as a student in class. If you want to come on over to the blog and leave a comment, that would be pretty cool. Uh, I, I love posting all of the sketchbook videos over at my blog as well as on YouTube. They look so pretty. Uh, with all of, of the pictures and if you're a high school student and you want to get into college and you're putting together your portfolio uh, Definitely consider a membership to drawingtutorialsonline.com Even if you sign up for a month and you get a little feedback on your artwork through our uh, Member critique gallery that would be really really cool. So thanks so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon